Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you everything that I got in my Thrive box for the month of February. So everything in this order totaled $355.39. This is probably one of the largest orders that I've done in quite some time and I, need, I really needed to stock up on some of these items. So here is the money shot of everything that I purchased and like I said this order was $355.39. So starting in the back here with just paper stuff, I love this brand of Kaboo. I usually get the tissue cubes, they didn't have any. So I ended up ordering some from Amazon, this same brand, but I got some of these large tissue ones to get us through. So I got two packs of those. This If You Care compostable parts with baking paper. This is just a restock. And then I got two packs of these nine bamboo toilet paper. This is our absolute favorite toilet paper. There's no packaging of plastic in here. It's just all paper and then in this paper wrapping that is recyclable as well. I also got, I'm going to give these a try. I had originally seen these tall kitchen bags and they did not have good ratings so I got the ones from Grove which I really like but I don't need anything else from Grove so I'd like to get everything in just one place and it's 100% reclaimed plastic meaning that it's not virgin plastic that you're using for bags and then putting stuff in. I've tried some of the compostable bags for my kitchen and they just don't hold up they kind of like dissolve so I needed a better option so I got three of those. Paul is having his third birthday combined with his sister's first birthday coming up here with friends and family. So I wanted to restock on this brand, repurpose. They make compostable bowls and cups and all sorts of things. I think I already had this. I meant to check before I actually ordered it and then I forgot. So I got some of these. This is 20 16 ounce bowls. I also got 20 of these 9 inch plates and then there are 44 of these 10 inch larger heavy duty plates and they all compost no plastic in the plates. It looks like they're wrapped in plastic. And then same brand, I got the forks, 24 forks, and this is how many? 24 spoons. I don't need any of the knives. They do have a multi-tool set, so I just got the individuals just to beef that up. I got another thing of Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. This is the baby one. I use this both for my kiddos and for my laundry soap. So I just got one of those as a restock. The other like non-grocery thing is this Rosie brand dishwasher packs. And there are, they're in here, 45 packs in here. So I got those. Then to bust out the snacks, I got, that's it, these mini fruits. I think these were on sale. There's 20 mini bars in there. I actually just bought a huge bag of this at Costco too because it was on sale, but that's okay. We'll go through it. My son likes these. These are the cheddar ones. Costco does have a big bag, but it's the Parmesan flavor. My son seems to like both. So I got some cheddar ones for him. These are my husband's favorite snack, these chocolate covered cashews. I got two of these bags. I try not to get these in the warmer months because it does ship with a cold pack and I'm just trying to reduce the shipping. So I try to kind of stock up these in the colder months because they don't ship it with a cold pack. These chomps, they're six count grass fed, grass finished beef, and they are four grams of protein, 40 calories, zero sugar, Whole30 approved little beef snacks. My son was eating these for a while, but now my husband has come to like them. So I got those. I also like this brand, these nut and wheat, like they're basically like graham cracker snacks. Honestly, I like them too. This one's honey cinnamon. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. This is simple mills. I love it because the ingredients are super duper clean, easy to pronounce. I feel like it's better than nothing kind of a deal <laughs> along with those my son it's he's a toddler so he likes shapes so he likes the graham crackers i feel like these are better than some other brands you know they still have some funky junky stuff in them but like i said better than nothing and i was kind of surprised at how much sugar was in graham crackers i don't know why i naively thought they were healthy but i mean i guess it's healthier than like a chocolate chip cookie but they're cookies not anything healthy. But I got those just in the honey flavors. And then in the rare instance that I make cheesecake bars, I'll use these for that too. This is one of my favorite crackers. I would love it if my son ate more of these. This also I feel like is a very clean for ingredients wise. And I like to have these with just peanut butter or cheese in the afternoon to see how much protein these have. They do have four grams of protein per serving and they come in different flavors. I just got the original. This is new for me. I'm trying their organic whey protein. This one is in vanilla. I figured maybe I'll just put it in some shakes or do other things with it and it does have 20 grams of protein per serving. I'm trying to eat like as much protein as humanly possible being 11 months postpartum and not really losing any weight and getting all sorts of different cravings. 
So there's that. I am just getting some coffee. I mean, that's pretty much self-explanatory. We do have black rifle coffee. It's whole bean. You have to grind it, but I just wanted some pre-ground stuff I could shove in the freezer and have when Matt isn't around. I fell in love with instant coffee when I was pregnant, especially the decaf. So I like to have this on hand so I can have coffee in the afternoon and not feel like I'm gonna stay up till three in the morning. I did not mean to buy these. This was in my cart and I was like, let me check in the basement. I do have a ton of chia seeds in storage, but we use this for, I mean, all sorts of things. Oatmeal, I use them in muffins, I use them in smoothies. You can do chia seeds in all sorts of things and it is a super food. How much protein does this have? Five grams of protein per three tablespoons. Let's see, let's get you out of the way. I just got a restock of some white jasmine rice. I got a restock of some Arreos. I feel like Thrive has the best price for this. Costco does have a two pack, but I didn't get it. I just got the tomato basil kind from Thrive. Tomato products for just basically restocking. I got two cans of tomato paste. Where are you? One, two cans of diced tomatoes, and one, two cans of tomato sauce. Those are all restock items. This is just some all-purpose flour, and this is the Thrive's only a two-pound bag. I wish it was bigger, but it's a good price, so I got that in lieu of the King Arthur, which is what I usually end up getting. I got some cornmeal because it's cold. I like chili, and with chili, I like cornbread, so I got some of that. I got some dry-roasted peanuts. I pretty much just use this for Vitamix peanut butter, and we didn't have any left, so I've been having almond butter, which actually I've kind of been liking. So that's for peanut butter, and also for peanut butter, my son likes PBJs. And this is the, I'm doing air quotes here, healthiest grape jelly that I can find. And this brand is hard to find. My Target does have this Crofters, I guess is how you pronounce it, but I, it's hard to find this um, Concord grape organic one. Look at that, isn't that cute? It's got like a little black bear on it. Um, I live in Shenandoah, so I like, um, have a soft spot for black bears. You know, the ingredients, it's jelly at the end of the day. It's a sugar spread, get that, so, you know, it is what it is. But there's not, no high fructose, I mean, nothing uber sketchy, I think, I hope. So I got that for my son, that lasts a really long time. Also restock, I got some applesauce. We usually have this with pork chops or when I give Tilly, my 11 month old avocado for dinner, I mix it with some applesauce so it makes it a little sweeter and she devours it. Maple syrup, I use this in all sorts of things besides pancakes, muffins, sweetening, all sorts of things. So that's a restock. These, where are you? I got this one as a freebie in my last one and I feel like Tilly was meh about it. They were, she was like, they're okay. So I got these, these were on sale. It was like something you get off for and you get a discounted price. So this one is a broccoli and spinach. There is carrot and beet. That one's tomato and herb. And this one's pumpkin cinnamon. We'll see if she likes them. It's, you know, another little alternative to Cheerios in my mind. All right, getting to some weird things I don't usually buy. I am out of beans. What I usually do is buy the dried beans, soak them, have a bean day where I cook all of them, portion them out, put them in freezer bags, throw them in the freezer. And the price was just not screaming me as being a big price savings this time. They didn't have these, these are on the newer side. These, um, instead of being in a can, it's in this plastic bags. They're already cooked beans. So I just decided to go this route. I don't know if this is, you know, I'll be kicking myself later but I just went ahead and ordered a ton of beans, as you can see. So going down the line here, two packs of pinto beans. I pretty much just use these primarily in chili. Two packs of kidney beans, two packs of black beans. Sometimes we do black beans and rice with tacos. Garbanzo beans, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with those just yet. I just feel like I wanted to have them on hand. And some refried pinto beans. I think they did have refried black beans. I just grabbed this one for some kind of Mexican dish I'll probably end up doing. And then the only thing I think I missed was this middle section here. So let me start with this guy. He is new. This is nighttime essential oil blend from Thrive Organic. I have a diffuser in my room that I just started using again now that my daughter isn't in my room. I feel like you're not supposed to have essential oils with a baby in your room. I could be just making that up, but she's out of my room, so I'm using this again, and I thought this was just a nice little treat to have at night. 
These are my absolute favorite vitamin brand now. I've been kind of replacing all of our synthetic vitamins that I can find with this brand. And this vitamin D3, I am taking in lieu of giving my daughter vitamin D drops. So I try to shoot for 6,000 I use, so I take double dose of this. So I need to get this on a monthly basis pretty much. There's 60 pills in here, so this is a monthly supply for me. And then this is a restock of my tea collection, which is looking pretty sad. Let me show you. This is the current state of my tea drawer. This is what two months of sore throats does to you. So I needed to restock. So some of these I've already had before. Let's see. So this lemon ginger is one that we've had before. This was just a restock. This is just straight ginger tea. That's a restock. And I have not had this one before, calming. So this one is chamomile, lemon balm, and peppermint. I figured this was a really good nighttime tea to have, as well as just straight good old chamomile tea. And then for period pains or eases or whatever you want to call it, I wanted to get more of this raspberry leaf tea. I feel like there was one that was just straight PMS from this traditional medicinals brand, but I couldn't find it. So I figured that raspberry leaf was a good enough one for me. That is all my tea collection. So now I get the joy of putting all of this away and all of that away. If you're interested in Thrive, I have a coupon code for you. It'll be in the description box below and it will give you 40% off your first order and I in return will get $40 off my next order, which would be greatly appreciated by me and my whole family. If you're interested, again, for the 40% off your first order, the link will be in the description box below. I am not working with or affiliated with Thrive whatsoever. I just have one of their codes linked to my account that helps me out and helps you out. But if Thrive is listening, I would love to work with you in future things. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave me some comments below. I love hearing from you. Check me out on Instagram. My handle's up here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.